Those knowledgeable of La Palma will appreciate its diverse natural beauty, far from mass tourism. My previous two videos highlighted some of the places of interest and the numerous sightseeing and exploring opportunities. Unfortunately, La Palma has recently received wider attention due to the devastating volcanic eruption of late 2021. This video illustrates some of the resultant destructive changes to the landscape on the western side of the island. La Palma is the most northwesterly Canary Island and is volcanically active due to it being located over the Canarian hotspot. There have been three major eruptions in the last 70 years. Watch my video on volcano formation to learn more. There is a 2,000 metre high volcanic ridge along the southern spine of the island, which is riddled with volcanic cones and craters and has been responsible for recent eruptions. The spine continues into the majestic Caldera Tabirente, an immense erosion depression with a depth of some 1,500 metres, surrounded by high peaks. The 2021 eruption at the Cumbre Vieja Ridge was the first volcanic eruption on the island since the eruption of Teneguia in 1971. It started on the 19th of September, lasted 85 days, and was the longest and most destructive recorded eruption on La Palma. The eruption started at an elevation of some 1,000 metres above the town of Todoque, which was eventually totally engulfed by lava, along with the neighbouring Los Campitos and parts of La Laguna. The lava covered over 1,000 hectares and reached the coast, where it submerged banana plantations, while hot ash and gases destroyed the rest of the crops. The lava formed two new deltas in the ocean. All roads linking north and south were cut off for at least six months. Over 3,000 buildings were destroyed and more than 7,000 people evacuated. This is the area near Todoke, which had a population of around 1,500 people. Where possible, people have started to live in some of the houses that survived. It was quite surreal to see this as I have been through Todeco a number of times in the past and have visited its church, whose slow destruction by lava was shown in the media. The neighbouring area of Los Campitos, through which the main LP2 road used to pass, suffered a similar fate. Clearly new houses are not going to be built on the lava fields in the foreseeable future, if ever. Although people have been rehoused elsewhere on the island, there have been some complaints about how slow the authorities have been in the reconstruction process. The closest that one can get to the volcano is at the end of the road from El Paso.
The inhabitant of the last surviving house is carrying on with his normal work. Work is still in progress as at March 2023 on building a new main road through the lava field to connect north and south. This road ends up at La Laguna, parts of which were also destroyed. Near the coast, minor roads through the banana plantations are being constructed. The larger lava delta that was created in the ocean has an access road being built on it, presumably to allow eventual replantation of bananas. Nearby there is the small settlement of La Bambia and the former busy resort of Puerto Naos from which tourists were evacuated by boat. These two areas are still closed due to high carbon dioxide levels resulting from the interaction of the lava with seawater. Thankfully the areas away from the lava fields have had no permanent damage. Despite the eruption, the huge natural attractions of the island remain strong and tourists will still continue to visit and enjoy the unique experience it offers.